From the first moment we met at the gym, I knew you were something special. Quiero decir, de, desear felicidades a Jane, a, a, a Dennis, a, el esposo de, de, de mi nieta. Y quiero decirle, decirle a ella que la amo. Yo la amo, que ella sabe y, y, y que ella siempre está en mi corazón. Y, y, y mis oraciones son para que este matrimonio Per, perdure siempre en el nombre de Jesús te, yo te pido que, que tú bendigas este matrimonio que bendigas toda esta familia que se encuentra en este lugar eh, 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 es, eh, a, también a, a los, a los uh, invitados de este lugar y que estén bien mis, mis nietos que ahora son mis nietos, en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. I remember the first time we hung out, we went paintballing and being so scared and thinking to myself, you have to look tough, Janie. Needless to say, I failed at that. I was the last one standing and had to surrender because I got too scared. I remember the first time you said I love you in the parking lot of your work. Even though you said psych right after, I knew deep down inside you meant it. Now look at us, seven years later, standing in front of our loved ones, saying our vows to one another. Babe, today I give you my heart. I trust you with it because I know you won't break it. Just like I promised to do the same. I promise to be your friend, your lover, your teammate, and your biggest cheerleader. I promise to always love you through the ups and the downs, to never give up, and always be Team Janie and Dennis. I promise to love your family as they were my own, because let's face it, they are pretty cool. I promise to always support you in everything you do, to respect you, to give you endless encouragement, and to always cherish even the smallest moments with you, although any moment with you is never small. I promise to be honest, to be kind, patient, and forgiving, even when it gets hard to do so. I promise to always believe in you, to accept you for you, and to love you for the rest of my life. And like your dad said, I will never stop saying those three words, I love you. You've made me a stronger person, and I'm so thankful God brought us together. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the first day of my professional officiant career. <laughs> oh, and I guess we're also here for this wedding too, between <laughs> Danny and Dennis. My name is Brian, and I have the honor of being the person that marries Janie and Dennis today. I'm not sure how I came about this role, and it was definitely a lot more important than I thought it was. <laughs> but don't worry, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos and a couple of romantic comedies for inspirational purposes. So, welcome family, and friends, and loved ones. On behalf of the bride and groom, I would like to thank you all who have made it out here today. Your presence here means that you played a pivotal role in their lives and in their relationship in some way, and you're here to further support and witness the growth between their relationship. So this is the part where I'm supposed to talk about what marriage is. I might not be able to say much about marriage because I'm not married myself, but me and Dennis, we had a couple of conversations about this not too long ago, 11 days to be exact. <laughs> so I asked him that night, so are you ready for marriage, man? And he said, man, I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. And that's when I told him, man, marriage is when you realize that your boys will always be your boys, but your girl is the only girl. She makes you a better person, motivates you, pushes you to, and pushes you to try new things. And you want to do the same for her. You guys both lift each other up. It's very rare that you would find something like that in this world today. And I'm glad that you guys have that. Um, I don't know if that's good advice or not, but the following Monday, Janie asked me if I for real wanted to <laughs> officiate their wedding. 
Well, here we are. I guess it sounded good. So you're thank, uh, you're welcome, Janie. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Well, I know Janie will probably have a pretty long vow, and she wants to get this done in 30, so let's jump to that. Now, Janie and Dennis turn to one another, hold hands, and get ready to express your vows of love to each other. All right. Now comes the tough part. All right, Janie, I remember saying I love you for the first time. Not thinking about it, it just came out naturally. Even, even though you didn't say it back, and I was embarrassed, I turned around and said, psych. <laughs> oh my God, you wrote that in my voice. <laughs> I knew then you were the one. But all the things we've been through, the laughter, the deep conversations, the things we shared, the hard times and the good times, we made it through. You've turned me into a better man. You've taught me how to love. You've taught me um, ways to handle things differently. And simply put, you calmed me down and made me more of a man I am today. You gave me a purpose in life and helped me find a direction to what's important, not just for me, but for us. You've taught me um, love isn't about finding the perfect match, but finding the perfect fit in my life. Janie, I vow to you that I will always protect you. I will always be there for you through your good times to support and encourage you. I will be there for you through your down times to always lift you up and to be your backbone in need. I promise to always love you and grow, and grow stronger with you for the years to come. I found a special person in my life and I can't wait to start this new chapter with you. Rings are very large in their significance. They are made of precious metal, which symbolizes the love it is the most precious element in each other's lives. The ring has no beginning and no ending, which symbolizes that the love between the two of you will never cease. Dennis, place the ring on Janie's finger. Janie, do you accept this ring as a visible sign of the vows which you have made? I... I do. Oh. I do. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Janie, place the ring on Dennis's finger. Dennis, do you accept this ring as a visible sign of the vows which you have made? I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just as they have made their vows, will all of you witnessing these vows do all in your power to support these two in their marriage? All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Because you two came here today intending to marry because you joined hands and made solemn vows, exchanged, exchanged rings, and reminded you of those vows, and you are now joined as partners in mutual re love and respect according to the powers vested in me and the highest powers of the land and the sea, I pronounce that your wedding vows are sealed and you may henceforth be known as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Eh, yo doy gracias a Dios, a su Hijo Jesucristo y al Espíritu Santo por este hermoso privilegio de poder orar y bendecir a mi primera nieta, Jane, y a su esposo, Dennis. Y ver cumplido el sueño de toda mujer y cumplir con el mandato de Dios el matrimonio. Mantengan presente que el éxito de su matrimonio será la combinación de sus valores que como pilares lo sostendrán. Responsabilidad, confianza, Paciencia, perdón, buen humor. Eso te sobra, ¿verdad, Jamie? Comunicación, perseverancia, pero sobre todo, que nuestro Señor sea el centro de su hogar. Disfruten este maravilloso día que, que han decidido compartir sus vidas con el sentimiento más grande que pueden tenerse, que es el amor. Quiero leerles estos versículos que están plasmados en la Biblia, que describen así de él, que el amor es sufrido, el amor es benigno, el amor no tiene envidia, el amor no es jactancioso, no se envanece, no hace nada indebido, no busca lo suyo, no se irrita, 
no guarda rencor, no se goza de las injusticias, mas se goza de la verdad. Todo lo sufre, todo lo cree, todo lo espera, todo lo soporta. El amor nunca deja de ser. Voy a orar y le pedimos al Señor Jesús, te pedimos Señor que bendigas y protejas a este matrimonio que hoy está naciendo. Permite que su amor y su familia sea a lo largo de la vida bendecidos y guiados por tu palabra. Que el amor de Dios sea la base de este matrimonio y que sus vidas sean un ejemplo de tu amor. Te pedimos, Padre, que guíe sus pasos como pareja y como padres. Bendice todo aquello que ellos decidan hacer dentro de tu voluntad. Que sea Denis un esposo protector, trabajador y fiel a su esposa. Y Jamie sea ella una esposa sabia, amorosa y madre ejemplar de sus hijos. Sean ellos obedientes a tu voz y recompensados con tus grandes promesas de bendición. Que entiendan que siempre deben acudir a ti, pues tú eres el camino, la verdad y la vida. Gracias, Señor, por escuchar esta oración, Señor. Por eso, Señor, te lo pedimos en el nombre bendito y poderoso de Jesús. Amén. Te, te amo, Jamie, y que sean muy felices. DJ, you know my dad left when I was four years old. This is hard to talk about. And it never was involved in my life. I remember my friends grew up with their dads shooting baskets, throwing a football around, baseball, riding their bike, bowling, hanging out the park. There was many nights I would cry myself to sleep wondering why does my dad want to be involved in my life. Don't take me wrong, my dad was a kind man. He thought it would be best not to interfere. Divorces can be hurtful. I want to thank you for giving me that father-son relationship. It completes my life. Something I didn't have, you gave it to me. I love you for that. You are a wonderful son and a good friend. And I love you. Janie and Dennis. May the future bring you happiness, wisdom, and, and children, so I can be a grandpa. I really want to be a grandpa. But in seriousness, I give you my whole heart blessing, and I know you two will last a lifetime. I am so happy that this day has finally come. Congratulations, Janie and Dennis. I love you guys. <laughs>